God showed me that there's a massive war coming. And if you hear this this morning, you say, Jack, how will that affect me? How will that war affect you? So don't go away. I'm going to explain to you what I mean in a few minutes. Well, good morning and welcome to Time Out this morning. I see you there and thank you for joining me this morning to take some time out of your schedule. God showed me that there's a massive war coming and I want to share that with you. If you from a YouTube channel, press subscribe. Thank you. If you share and comment from any platform, uh, I want to say you are helping me to make social media a more positive medium to reach people. So thank you very much because Time Out and Time Outers is all about being positive and sharing the positivity. So thank you very much. Now, this morning, since almost it feels like the beginning of time, and that's just an expression, there's been wars around, uh, physical wars. And I want to just say, I do not advocate war. It's not God's plan because it's destructive in so many levels. But this is what's been happening in history. And almost like the last century, if you look back, if you can think that far back, there's never been a time when there hasn't been a physical war going on. Uh, more than one. And even today, there are wars happening right now where people are being killed, where there is destruction, where there is uh, just a total uh, annihilation of infrastructure. So you may ask, uh, why is this happening if it's not God's plan? Well, you know, interesting that Jesus prophesied in uh, 2000 years ago in Matthew 24 verse 6. He said there will be wars and rumors of wars. So it's either there's a war or there's a rumor that a war is starting. That seems to be the pattern uh, as far back as we can remember. And the reason this is happening is not God. It's because the enemy, the devil, wants to destroy mankind. And he uses war as a weapon. And there are many things he uses, but war is a massive weapon to destroy the image of God. As a matter of fact, war is perpetuated, I believe, by a demonic spirit that the devil sends, a warring spirit, to bring quarrels and disputes and divisions amongst people. And then when that is going on, he sits back, that warring spirit, and he watches how man destroys each other. And he sees that God's image, or because man's created in God's image, you were creating God's image, has been destroyed by war. And so that's what a warring spirit does. And you may ask, why is the enemy, the devil, so obsessed, Jack, with destroying mankind? Well, there's a simple answer to that. And that is because you were created in the image of the living God. And the devil knows that he will never ever be able to be like you. He will never be able to be created in the image of God like you and I. And the second thing is, you have an inheritance that God has given you because of Jesus Christ. And he is not part of that inheritance. He can never be part of that inheritance because he's been disqualified by God. And so the next best thing he, he can do is to try and destroy every single person that's created in God's image. And that's the basic principle of war is to get that, uh, uh, to destroy God's uh, image by destroying people. Now the war that I want to speak about this morning is not a physical war. There is a physical war coming. But the, the war God showed me, this massive war, is between two kingdoms. The kingdom of light or the kingdom of God and the kingdom of darkness or the kingdom of the devil. And so this morning you may ask, well, hasn't that always been around that since the devil was kicked out of heaven, he's been in dispute with God and he's been fighting the kingdom of God. Yes, that is true. But let me just say there's something happening now that is escalating everything. There is another, it's going to go to another level. And the reason it's going to go to another level is found also in a scripture in Revelations 12, 12, where it says, Woe to you, earth 
and see. For the devil has come down with his great fury because he knows his time is short. And therein lays this escalation that's going to happen, this massive war that's coming between the kingdom of light and the kingdom of darkness. And uh, because the enemy knows that his time is short. And so it's almost like the next best thing he can do is to up the ante, if I can use that expression, to really cause divisions and disputes and anarchy so that he can cause massive destruction on the earth because his plan is to destroy the earth and those that are in the image of God will also be destroyed because if they don't know Jesus that is his plan and so he is upping the ante and so there's a massive war coming now when you listen to this I don't want you to be discouraged because I'm not sharing it to discourage you as a matter of fact this is to encourage you because you know the Bible says for centuries right through the Bible if you read it great men and women of God have longed to see the coming of Christ they've longed to see the final harvest and you know you and I are in a position to actually encounter or see perhaps the coming of this harvest and so this is a great time to be alive this is not a time to feel despondent if you are feeling that way I just want to encourage you because you if you're a child of the living God and you've asked Jesus into your heart you are on the winning side so you don't have to feel that you are going to be in any way um, be done in because you're living at this in this time this is a great opportunity now you may ask Jack if this massive war comes what can I do what can I do as a child of God what can I do as a person what should I be doing and that's a good question so let me just share one or two things that are easy that you can do and the first one I want to say you can do is you can walk in the light and not in the darkness because you know 1 John 1 7 says if you walk in the light Jack and uh, as he is in the light because you see I walk in the light because Jesus is in the light God is in the light I will have fellowship with one another the Bible says we will have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus will cover us of all sin you are protected by the blood of Jesus if you walk in the light as he is in the light you see there's no dark side to God uh, God is no variable uh, light as a matter of fact there's no variation there's no variable side to God and, and it was so when the you know when, when there's no shadow of turning if I may say it that way because that's an expression that when light shines on an object there's always a shadow cast on something but you see light is all around God he's illuminated by light so God has no light dark side he only has a light side and so when I and you and I walk in the light as he is in the light there's two things that happen we have revelation because the light brings revelation and we fear that there's nothing that can touch us because there's no darkness in our lives the blood of Jesus covers us and we can have fellowship one with another so I want to encourage you walk in the light don't allow the darkness to come into your future into your family into your finances and into your relationships the second thing I want to say to you that you and I can do that that the Bible advocates and uh, is that don't don't turn back you know uh, there's a scripture that says that uh, in, uh, I think it's Luke 9 verse 22 it says no one who um, puts his hand to the plow and looks back is worthy Jack of the kingdom of God and that's just purely meaning that if you start out serving God the the first objective the enemy wants is to say look back have regrets about your life maybe you didn't do everything you should have done don't look back don't give him that opportunity to put doubt in your mind when you've started something keep moving don't look back don't have regrets don't doubt yourself don't doubt God keep moving on because God is in control and then of course the third thing that you and I can do apart from 
walking in the light and putting our hand to the plow, not looking back, is to remember, to remember this, who you are and with whom you are. First of all, let me say who you are. You're a child of the living God. If Jesus Christ is in your life, you are on the winning side. You are destined for great things. God created you not to destroy you, but to use you as instruments of righteousness. And so you are a child of God. And of course, don't forget with whom you are. You are with the creator of the universe. You are with Jesus Christ, the author of the Bible. He wrote the script. He wrote the ending. And in it, you win and you are on his side so don't be discouraged this morning that there's a massive war coming between the kingdom of light and the kingdom of darkness if you are in the kingdom of light you are on the winning side so be encouraged god bless you my name is jack vint you've been watching time out and i'm going to catch you next week